Um, Okay, so that was step one was right. That's okay. It's probably a good place to reiterate anyways. Step one was right reactants as ions. Um, actually, let's, let's just show those ions. We had calcium two plus oops, and chloride minus and silver plus and NO three minus. Step two was switch partners. Net charge equals zero. I won't write it again, but it was metal plus non-metal. So we had Ca NO3 two and AgCl. Step three was Let's space that in. Balance with coefficients. So now we want the whole equation. It's Ca Cl2 plus Ag NO3 goes to Ca. Let me actually cut and paste that. Uh, Okay, so this, this is what I call my, this reaction is what, are, as it's shown right now, is what I call the skeletal reaction. So let's actually, let's take that, I'm gonna write, just recopy it again, and then let's actually play with it and balance. So is it balanced right now? Sometimes, it could be balanced. Is this one balanced? Well, the metals are balanced, but if I look at chloride, I have two chlorides at calcium chloride. And where's all the, are you guys here? I have 14 people. Okay. Would we have to add a two um, before uh, AG and chlorine? Uh, yeah, so two before the silver chloride. And then, aha, that means I've changed the number of silver ions. So I go back to the silver nitrate and put a two. And then that looks like it's balanced. So, okay, so that's it. That's that step. So far, so good, I think. You guys could double check it. Mommy had trouble finding the remote control, and she... Tell her it's above the refrigerator. Above, okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so uh, balance of coefficients. And then uh, the next step, this is kind of a critical step, is you find the states of the products. And there's a couple ways to do this. So um, A is you look at the solubility table. That's probably the main way. Um, so you can look at any ionic compound, you can decide is it a solid or aqueous. Um, there's another thing, there's a couple other things here. If it's an acid and a base, then the products will be, oops, um, H2O, liquid, let me lowercase liquid, and an ionic compound. And if, if it's an ionic compound, again, we can go back and we can use the solubility table. And then finally, C is gas forming reactions. And so for those, you wanna memorize. 
and we're not going to encounter them in the lab. So I'm mainly going to ignore those steps. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skeletal, oh, this one's no longer skeletal. We balanced it. So I'm going to take the balanced equation. So, and once you've done this, you have, I'm going to abbreviate it as a BE for balanced equation. Well, let's find the states here of, whoops. There, okay. Let's find the state. So our reactants were aqueous. Let's see. Aqueous and aqueous. Okay, so now we need our solubility table. So if you guys want to look at your solubility table, uh, uh, we could actually want to make a guess. Calcium nitrate, what do you think? Is it going to be soluble or not soluble? Anybody? Soluble. Okay, so if it's soluble, will I put S for soluble? No, I'm going to put aqueous. So we're, I'll remind myself that it's, um, I'll, write, I'll write it down here so we can see it. So NO3 minus is always soluble, right? What about the silver chloride? That one's going to be a solid. And so for that one, um, chloride insoluble with silver. Oops. G. Okay. And so th those are, for, again, from the table. I don't want to pop the table up right now, but that's, that's what we would see from the table. Okay. So you, you've done step four, that's a balanced equation. That would be, that's credit right there. That's, that's really cool. Um, that's actually part of the worksheet is uh, every reaction that has a reaction, you can write a balanced chemical equation for. Now we can go a step further for this. Um, step five is uh, to write all aqueous as ions. So this is both products and reactants and leave the other states, which are solid, let me write it, solid, liquid, gas, quote, as is. Um, when you're done with this, you have what's called a total ionic equation. Or can I abbreviate that and call it a TIE if, if step four gives you a BE? Um, let's write that too. Step four is a balanced equation. Bring these guys back a little. There, okay. So basically to do this, I'm gonna take the entire um, equation, and then let's break it apart. So copy, let's paste it down here. Mm -hmm. So it looks like everything's aqueous except for calcium chloride. I'm sorry, except for silver chloride. And so, oh, where's my, this one doesn't have the, I didn't take the one with the coefficients. What happened here? I should have two of those and two of those. I took the wrong one. Was that, that, that should have been, hold on, let me put that back somewhere. Copy, that was over here maybe. Paste, balanced equation. There, okay. So, now I'm gonna take this balanced equation, break it apart. So how many calcium ions? There's one calcium. I'm gonna give myself more room. Calcium, what's the charge of the calcium? And it's aqueous plus 
and I got chlorides. How many chlorides do I have? And they're also aqueous. This is kind of tedious, but you, each, everything that has, so maybe, maybe some notes here for us. So um, separate ions are always written as aqueous and show charges. Um, ionic compounds, things that are together and not broken apart, should have no charges shown. And if they're broken apart, they're probably not aqueous, they're probably solid. Okay, so let's go back. So we had calcium chloride, we're breaking that apart. We have silver, how many silvers do I have? Oh, question, go ahead. Um, for calcium, up above, I think I thought it was a plus two charge. So you don't write, you only write that it's a plus, not plus two. I write two plus. Okay, cool. Thank Oops. you. I was, yeah, I was waiting for someone to put in. And how do I represent the chloride here? So I need, now, now I don't want to just show the ions. I need to show the ions and the number of them. I have two chlorides, right? Chloride's still minus, like we saw before. I have two of them. I want to put that two in front, right? So there's two chlorides. Let's put hug the aqueous to the ion. Oops, plus. Okay, silver's plus aqueous plus. And then I have, oh, wait, how many silvers do I have? How many silvers do I have? Now that I balance the equation. Two? Yeah. So where am I going to put the two? I'm going to put it out front there. Before the abbreviations. Yeah. And then up, oh, what about the nitrate? How many nitrates do I have? That two distributes to the silver and the nitrate. I got two nitrates. This is just the reactant side. So the total ionic equation gets kind of long. And then I have an arrow. And I'm going to go to calcium nitrate. Now that's aqueous. I can break that apart. Calcium is still two plus aqueous. And I have two nitrates minus aqueous. Now the silver chloride does not break apart. So I'm going to write that as is two AG. Cl solid, and I'm not. I don't show any charges with that. So that is uh, writing the um, all aqueous as ions. Okay, this is going well. Okay, so the next step is to cancel out all spectator ions. And so those are the ones that are the same state and form on both sides. Which ions are spectator ions? Can we identify them? So we're look, look at the, the total ionic I did here and which things are aqueous on both sides and did not change form. Anybody? Nitrate. Nitrate. Okay, good. So nitrate, yeah, and nitrate's always soluble. So that's a great candidate. NO3 minus. Whoops. Okay, what else? Is there anything else? I see one other thing that's aqueous on both sides. That's the calcium. So calcium's not always soluble necessarily, but in this case, it didn't form the precipitate. So it counts as a spectator ion. So if I do that, I'm going to rewrite this entire equation. And I'm going to erase the spectator ions. I'm going to get rid of calcium, get rid of nitrate on both sides. 
like that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Is that all right? Now, technically, I would show them as struck out. If, and we could write that on the board if you guys want to see that. But there we go. Um, so cancel out spectator ion, same on both sides, and write what's left. Okay. There's the, I created this one because it, it invokes another step. There's step seven is uh, if there is a common denominator, divide it out. Okay. Is there a common denominator? If I'm looking at what's left down yes, here. It would be two. Yeah. So in this case, it's two. So I'm going to divide it out. So let's rewrite the whole thing. Um, so step eight would be write what's left. And that is the net ionic equation. Or I'll, I'll, I'll abbreviate as NIE. Okay, so I'm going to take the work that we had here and let's just copy, paste it down here. Let's put it over so you can see it by itself. And let's get rid of the twos. That's it. And that is the net ionic equation. <laughs>